coming in with a big flex skadoosh. Now I know I told you guys I'd be giving you long form video every single week and, and there's no promise broken. Let's start by giving you guys an update on how my physique is going and I also wanna show you guys one of the recipes that I use to help me make sure that my meals are high in protein, extremely filling. This is one of the most filling recipes. If you like this recipe, that's awesome. If you hate it, that's okay too. This is what works for me. At the time of this video, I was weighing in at 236 pounds. Now I'm already down to about 234.5 pounds. Do we expect to see a weight loss this drastic and this consistent the entire time? No, definitely not. The first few weeks are gonna be where you see the largest amount of weight loss. After that, it's gonna taper off, but we're gonna stay steady with it. If you're one of those people who like likes recipes and likes to follow them to the T. I don't like to measure, but the inspiration was taken from my buddy named Calvin or Cook Like I'm Book. I will leave the link down to his page below in the description. You can go check him out. He makes unbelievable recipes that are high in protein, low in calorie, and a great way to help you lose fat without losing flavor. Thanks Calvin, and here is how I meal prep chicken burgers for the week. The best way to make sure you have lots of protein on hand is to be as prepared as possible. So we're gonna make this ground chicken burgers for meal prep so that I can easily pop them throughout the week into the air fryer. And then that way I don't feel like I'm cheating in on anybody when I have a little bit of a, a naughty snack. I'm gonna throw some garlic powder. Remember, season your food the right amount, not the white amount. That's probably enough. Paprika, cayenne pepper, regular pepper, salt. And the secret ingredient is Mustard, the reason why we put this in is both as a binding agent and it gives flavor flavor. But remember, shake it because we don't want that ugly water mess coming out. That's probably enough. Let's get the breadcrumbs going. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I use the same bag over and over again to do this. We are not actually using bread. We are using cornflakes. Save some calories and still keep a good chunk of the crunchiness. Gonna try to get about 60 grams worth of this. I've already used these cornflakes like 10 times. Made this recipe a few times. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a little bit of air in here, just a smidgen, so that the air can come out of this bag. All you're gonna do is take this bag and beat the crap out of it to create your breadcrumbs. Cool, we got breadcrumbs. Get that in a dish on the side. I always keep the mustard and the garlic powder on hand just in case I didn't season it well enough and those are kind of the main flavor things. Ugh, fuck, made a mess. I cannot stress this enough. Get your hands wet before working with the ground chicken. My goal is to now shape this into balls, pop them in here, make sure that I can press in as many of these cornflakes as I can, and then put them in a Tupperware container. So I'm gonna get the Tupperware container prepped so that it's ready to go for storage, and then I'm gonna get my hands wet again and start forming the balls. Ugh. Pro tip, use parchment paper to line in between every single burger. That way they're easier to pull up. We got one down, got four more from between. Awesome. Gotta wet the hands again beforehand, so that the hands are cold, and so that this doesn't stick to my hands. Okay, we got a nice little ball, and plop it right in here. That way when I press it out into a burger shape, I'm getting coated, and I'm gonna try to make sure I keep maintain the shape as best I can. Flip it over a few times too. Burger number one. We're gonna pop one of these down, separate it for the next one. I love how I have this in front. Sorry, kids. I'm gonna roll it around and press it down flat so you guys can see what that'll look like. This is for guys like my boy Tages. This recipe has been taking me like, what, five minutes and I've recorded myself do it. So you know how long adding a camera takes, my man. There you go, number two. Later on, all I need to do in order to make it is just add it to my air fryer for around 10 minutes at 390 and Bob's your uncle. If you don't have an air fryer, use your oven. If you don't have an oven, move. That New York rent you're paying is way too high. And just like that, you can see we've got four prepped burger patties. They're all gonna make a fried chicken burger in the air fryer, and that took us no time at all. Macros will be on the screen. If you're like, damn, Eden, but I want some variety. I don't like eating the same thing every single day, and I don't wanna add too many calories to that. Well, you got Frank's Red Hot. You can dip them into Frank's Red Hot before you cook them, and now you've got a spicy 
chicken burger. There's a little bit of variety. You can have two of them each way. Change up the toppings on the burger, whatever way you want to. And you don't have to eat this for every single meal, but you've got more variety. We're adding tools to your toolbox. High protein, low calorie meal to have throughout the day that it's just in your fridge and ready to go within 12 minutes now. It's not fully cooked, it's not fully prepped, but it's a lot easier when you're hungry to grab and go. What better way to end this video off than to watch me eat one of my favorite chicken burgers together? Spicy chicken sandwich. Mm, that looks so good. Oh yeah, dude. Admit it, you wanna try this. Mm. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the recipe in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see in next week's update video. I look forward to seeing you guys every single week. Let's get this mini cut going. Peace.